of a little thing called the FBI Top 10 Most Wanted list. And while the list does change from time to time, when more pressing convicts come into the picture, even if you're taken off the list, that doesn't mean they stop looking for you. So let's not waste any more time and get started. First up in our number 10 spot, Dan Cooper. Back in 1971, a man who went by the alias Dan Cooper hijacked a commercial plane and no one has ever been able to find him since. According to those involved, shortly after takeoff he handed a note to a flight attendant claiming to have a bomb in his briefcase. He demanded four parachutes and $200,000 in $20 bills, which is the equivalent of like $1.2 million nowadays. Otherwise, he was going to everyone on the plane. After the flight landed in Seattle, Cooper released the 36 passengers once authorities provided him with the money and the parachutes. But he kept both pilots, one flight attendant, and one flight engineer as hostages on the plane. From there, he forced them to fly to Mexico City, but somewhere over Nevada, Cooper jumped off the plane with the stolen cash. The FBI launched a massive search that is still considered one of the longest and most exhaustive investigations in FBI history, but have yet to find him. And although he isn't on the top 10 list anymore, he is still considered a wanted fugitive. Before we dive into the next nine points in today's video, I just want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Man, oh man, is this game blowing up everywhere, and for good reason too. It's quite literally the first phone game that delivers the same high quality experience you get on a console, plus it's completely free. Free. Raid has endless content so you'll never get bored. With over 650 unique champions to collect, it's hard to narrow it down to my faves, but I'm gonna try for you today. First up, I picked Two Hawk the Wanderer. This beast is a void affinity epic from the orc faction, and not only can he hit hard, but he attacks enemies two times and can also decrease the speed of your enemies. So what's new this month? Well, speaking of champions, Raid is running an extra special legendary champion based off of MMA and pro legend Ronda Rousey that you can get for free whether you are a new or longtime player. All you have to do is log into Raid and play for 7 days between now and February 20th and Ronda will be all yours. To celebrate Ronda's arrival you can also use this special promo code RAIDRONDA to get a bunch of helpful stuff like a 3 day 100% XP boost, 500,000 silver and even 5 full energy refills. I mean the perks just keep coming. But wait there's more! As it is this season after all. Raid has prepared an extra special 12 days of Raid for new players this Christmas. Just download Raid Shadow Legend from the link below and head over to 12daysofraid.plarium.com between now and January 10th to get started. From there you'll enter your player ID and set out on a festive 12 day adventure where each day you'll get to experience a new chapter and play a new mini game for a chance to win amazing in game and real life prizes like holiday themed raid championships and even Amazon gift cards worth up to a thousand bucks. And existing raid players, I know what you're thinking. Where are your prizes? But don't you worry, I've got you covered. Just head over to 12daysofraid.playroom.com and you can find a special holiday promo code that everyone can use for a festive gift. If you haven't started playing raid yet, what are you waiting for? You can click the link in the description below or scan my QR code here on the screen to get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion Aina, 200,000 silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. And all this treasure will be waiting for you right now. Here. Coming in at number 9, Route 29 Stalker. One cursed area in the state of Virginia, known as Route 29, has unfortunately become notorious due to the number of women who have seemingly vanished there. The first victim of Larry Breeden, or at least that was his alias, was a woman named Alicia Reynolds. She had been seen driving down Route 29 to go shopping with her mother in a nearby town, but never arrived at the mall. Shortly after, 
another 20 or so women came forward to tell the cops that a creep had tried approaching them, trying to get them to pull over their cars on the country road, attempting to convince them that something was wrong with their cars and that he wanted to help. Shortly after, three more women were found dead on the road, then after a strange 13 year gap in crimes, another five women disappeared between 2009 and 2014. To this day, the case of the Route 29 stalker has never been solved, and while there have been a few suspects over the years, no one has been convicted for the crimes. Whoever hurt these women walks free and authorities are still on the hunt for the perp. Next up at number 8, Badresh Kumar Patel. Wanted by the FBI since 2015, Patel could be hiding anywhere. His arrest came, as I said, back in 2015 when he was charged for taking his wife's life. Allegedly, the perp struck her multiple times with a kitchen utensil while the two were working at a donut shop, and then cameras caught him fleeing the scene after the incident. His charges are currently first and second degree first and second degree assault, and a dangerous weapon with intent to injure. The FBI has reason to believe he's fled the country as apparently his visa expired right before he killed his wife, and there is currently a $100,000 price on his head for anyone with information to his whereabouts. Let's just hope they find him soon. Coming in at number 7, Arnaldo Jimenez. Most people have a romantic honeymoon, at least that's sort of the assumption. But Mr. Arnaldo Jimenez here seemed to have a different plan in mind. Back in 2012, the day after marrying his wife, who, to make matters worse, he already had a family with, Jimenez took her out with some friends to a club. Apparently, the couple left around 4 a.m. from the club, and from there, for whatever reason, Jimenez took her life. His wife was to death in the back of his car before being dragged into the bathroom tub of her apartment and abandoned. Obviously, this creep was charged and a warrant went out for his arrest, and although authorities have reason to believe he may have fled back to Mexico, they haven't actually been able to track him down. To this day, he remains on the FBI's most wanted with a $100,000 reward for his capture. Next up at number 6, Ruha Ignatova. Maybe it's just me, but a lot of the time when you hear con artists, you tend to think like a slimy person preying on the old and vulnerable through some weird email contest or something. But Ignatova had a different kind of clientele base she was looking to rip off. Investors. Currently wanted for participation in a large scale fraud scheme that involved her defrauding billions of dollars from investors all over the world, Ignatova began her Ponzi scheme back in 2014. It all started with her MLM called Bigcoin, but from there she moved on to bigger names with deeper pockets. In 2014, she founded OneCoin Limited, which was a Bulgaria-based company that marketed cryptocurrency. But behind the scenes, she was making false statements about the company in order to solicit investments. Later in 2019, her brother came forward admitting it was a money laundering front, but by then, Ignatova had already disappeared. Allegedly, during its active years, OneCoin is believed to have defrauded victims out of more than $4 billion. Dollars. And not only is she on the FBI's most wanted, but she made her way onto the Interpol's most wanted and has a price on her head for anyone with more information. Coming in at number 5, Alejandro Castillo. Once again, another one of the FBI's most wanted, this criminal has been hiding out since 2016. Six years ago, Castillo texted his co-worker Sandy Lee, who apparently he had briefly dated prior, saying that he wanted to repay her the money she had loaned him. So under the guise of getting her money back, Lee agreed to meet up with him. But here's where it gets twisty. Castillo had a new girlfriend at the time named Amia Feaster, and the afternoon of the incident, he was picked up by her and she drove the pair to the meetup. Although the full details of the crimes aren't confirmed, it's believed Castillo, instead of giving Lee her money back, held her at gunpoint while forcing her to withdraw all the money she had from a nearby ATM, which was about $1,000. Investigators think Castillo then drove Lee into the woods and took her life before dumping the body into a ravine. From there, Castillo and his current girlfriend, Feaster, fled in his Toyota Corolla to Mexico. Since then, he hasn't been seen, but his girlfriend turned herself in in 2016, confirming they'd been living with Castillo's cousins when they were in hiding. The FBI hasn't been able to track him down just yet, but they do think he remains in Mexico to this day. Jose Rodriguez. 
Rodolfo Virial Hernandez, also sometimes referred to as El Gato. This criminal is one of the newer additions to the FBI's most wanted list, having been just added two years ago in 2020. But he may be one of the scarier ones yet. A warrant for his arrest was issued back in June of 2018 when El Gato was accused of having involvement with interstate stalking as well as hiring two men to assist a man named Guerrero back in 2013. Allegedly, the two men hired to track down Guerrero and his wife attempted to shoot them down. Guerrero unfortunately did not make it past the attack, but luckily his wife escaped unharmed. The craziest part of all of this is that allegedly Guerrero's sister, after the attack, took revenge on El Gato by having one of his relatives beheaded, which to me sounds like they might have paid off the wrong people. Currently, the FBI is not sure exactly where Elgato is hiding, but the search continues with a million dollars being the price for anyone who's able to track him down. Next up at number three, Eugene K. Palmer. Back in 2012, Eugene Palmer was the neighbor to his son and daughter-in-law, John and Tammy Palmer. Now, not only was Eugene their neighbor, but he also owned the property that the couple and their family lived on. After some time together, John and Tammy's relationship started to go south. And after the pair separated and began seeing other people, Tammy issued a restraining order against her ex, John. On top of the restraining order, Tammy threatened divorce and to sue for the land belonging to Eugene. And all of this began quite the feud between the two. A few days later, Tammy and Eugene had a very heated argument, and then on September 24th, 2012, Eugene took her life. Allegedly, he shot her three times before fleeing the scene in his pickup truck, which was later found abandoned near a park. Now, Eugene was quite the woodsman, so it's believed he fled into the woods, and despite multiple searches, he has never been found. Coming in at number two, Hazel Leota Head. Back in 1998, under the false name of Deanna Ray, Head conned her way into the heart of an old widower named James Barker. Now, according to the authorities, Head was a drifter who hitchhiked around the country looking for lonely men to latch onto so she could drain their bank accounts before abandoning them high and dry. Charles Barker was a depressed and lonely man after losing his wife, and when he met Deanna, he immediately fell smitten with the con artist. After only days of meeting each other, she moved in, and when his family met her, they had a strange suspicion that something about her wasn't right. After some time, Charles too began to think something with his new girlfriend was off, but he never shared any of the details with his family. Then one day, after not hearing from her father for nearly a week, his daughter called up her aunt, Charles' sister, asking if she could go check up on him and make sure that he was okay. When his sister arrived, she saw that the door was open and she ran inside to find Charles Barker dead, slumped over a bar. Once police arrived, they discovered he'd been dead for five days days, and Hazel, or Deanna as she called herself, was missing along with Charles's car and money. The car was found later at an airport, and after running a background check, it was revealed she had pulled this same stunt 10 times before. She remains missing, but authorities have not stopped trying to track her down and arrest her for good. And last up in our number one spot, Michael James Pratt. Currently on the FBI's top 10 most wanted, there is no doubt in my my mind that this monster is the worst on this list. Between approximately 2012 to 2019, Michael Pratt, along with a few accomplices, was involved in recruiting under girls to be a part of an adult film production company that he owned and operated. Pratt lured the girls under a Craigslist ad asking for models, and from there he promised payment in exchange for a clothed modeling gig. But sadly, this couldn't have been further from what he had planned for the victims. Beyond the obviously morally despicable stuff they were making these minors do, he would also force past victims into providing false assurance to the girls that their films would never end up online. Allegedly, some of the victims were not permitted to leave shooting locations until the shoot was complete. Others were forced to perform after declining participation, and the crew was known to commit SA when the girls wouldn't comply. After fleeing the country in 2019, right before his trial for his crimes, he was added to the FBI list, and the search for this creep continues. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Kennedy, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.